This next chapter talks about layers. Layers in digital art is probably the greatest thing about using a tablet to paint. When you're painting on a piece of paper, you have one layer to work with. You mess up the foreground, the background, the middle ground of your painting, you may as well start over again. The nice thing about a tablet is if you draw things in layers, the focal point in one layer, the background in one layer, the middle ground in one layer, the foreground in one layer, you can change those and um, take the different elements and combine them later on to create another piece of work. And so this, uh, this example that I'm using here, I uh, have a, a, the head of a parrot that I put on one layer and I used it in a couple of different drawings simply because I didn't feel like spending the time to redraw the parrot's head and then I drew a whole pile of abstract, abstract different types of drawings to go with it. And then I used the uh, layers that I took from a picture that I took in Hawaii of the sun setting and the beach and then decided to do the water and the beach in silhouette and then the water in the background. My 10 year, 10 year old son even did an image of that, uh, asked me if he could draw one of the backgrounds. And so I just created a whole series of different backgrounds that worked with that. Finally settled on one that I liked, but you can use that element over and over again. And so when you're using layers, don't be afraid to make a whole pile of layers. It goes against my normal approach because I'm so used to working it with paper that as I'm getting more and more into tablets, I'm finding that I use more and more layers and then when I make a mistake, I just start a new layer. And so that's a nice thing about working with a tablet. So don't be afraid to make layers.